Life without Jesus is a nightmare and a disaster that leads to certain destruction. If you follow Jesus, He will guide you in all things and give you eternal life. Sadly, very few people follow Jesus. Many don't know to follow Jesus and others choose not to follow Him, but rather to follow other people and their own mind. Jesus is alive and He speaks. He guides everyone who comes to Him, trusts Him and stays with Him. Jesus gives His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to be in and with every believer who obeys His words and seeks Him with all their heart. The world, the unbelievers and those who do not obey the gospel of Jesus Christ cannot receive the Holy Spirit. To follow Jesus is a practical walk, day by day. Many people claim to follow Jesus and be led by the Holy Spirit, but it does not play out in their lives. They are no different from other people who are not believers. Jesus Christ and His Spirit is not a reality in their lives. It is only words and jargon religious talk. Their spirituality is just fuzzy, vague ideas from their imagination. If you are serious about following Jesus, He will give you direct instructions, warnings, revelations and understanding of His will for you. You will have to trust Him enough to do what He tells you to do without doubting you might ask Him for confirmation and understanding, but if you do not have faith and courage to do what He tells you to do, then walking by faith and following Jesus is not for you. Faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Romans 8 verse 17 Please pause to listen. Understand what is written here. Faith comes from hearing. Hearing what? Hearing by the word of Christ. Let me put it in different words. You believe when you hear Jesus speaking to you. Then you act on what he said to you. So what are you believing? You believe what Jesus told you. If Jesus did not say anything, then you have nothing to act upon. Many believers act on assumption. They read something in the Bible, or hear a preacher say something, or even come up with their own idea, and then they act on that assumption. They say they are stepping out in faith. They assume that Jesus will follow them and make their idea work out. That is not faith. It is rather presumption or just plain stupidity. Then things do not work out as they expected and they blame God. But God was never in their project. It was their own idea. They lose faith in God and many of them stop believing in God and become agnostic. Even when you have heard from God and you do what He tells you to do, things hardly ever work out the way you expected or thought, because God's ways are not our ways, and His thoughts are not our thoughts. God does not give you a detailed plan or a map. He gives you direction, and when you follow His directions, you end up where you do not know further. Then you get further direction. You have to stay with Jesus and follow Him in faith after hearing from Him. His timing is not our timing. It is of no use to become frustrated or in a hurry. In His time, He will guide you further. You have to stay with Jesus all the way until the end. 
It is of no use to ask the opinion of other people or followers of Jesus. If he gives you guidance or tells you to do something, you have to stay with Jesus, trusting, waiting, doing what he tells you to do by faith, because you heard from him. If you do not have the courage to do what Jesus tells you to do, even if it sounds irrational by human opinion and standards, then you cannot follow Jesus. It is written, My righteous one shall live by faith. And if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Hebrews 10 verse 38 Jesus will guide you all the way, in all things, work, relationships, marriage, finances, bringing up your children, where to live, how to serve him. But you have to trust and obey him above all more than your spouse, your parents, your employer, your children, your family and your friends, even the government. If you want to follow Jesus, you have to obey Him in all things. Obey His words as recorded in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Start right. Repent. Stop sinning. Turn from your own desires and plans. Turn to Jesus. Be baptized in water for the forgiveness of your sins. Be holy. Seek Jesus. Seek His will. Ask Him to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will convict you of sin if you do wrong. He will guide you into all truth and righteousness. He will guide you in what you must do. And He will tell you things that will happen in future. He will warn you. He will be with you until the end of your life. But you have to seek His guidance, obey Him and stay with Him. You have to work out your own relationship with Jesus. He will guide you all the way, but you have to stay with Him. Jesus will speak to you in a dream or a vision or a voice that only you can hear. Not in your ear, but in your spirit. He will speak to you through circumstances, through revelation. Through sickness, you will put knowledge in you, understanding. If you seek His will and guidance, trust Him and stay tuned to Him, you will immediately recognize His hand and His intervention. Those who are pure in heart will see God. Through your relationship with Jesus, you will grow in knowledge and understanding of Him and His ways. Do not allow anything to distract you from Jesus, not churches, other Christians, books, or even your own interpretation of the Bible. Many go astray because they run after people and various teachings. Jesus Christ alone is the way, the truth, and the life. Follow Him relentlessly, and He will guide you. He will give you eternal life. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know him and follow him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.